Hi, this is Chris with CTI Music Ministries, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Roland's editor software to load custom performs onto your Juno. Uh, throughout this uh, YouTube channel, you'll find some of the, the perform files that we use to program the Juno to get uh, some of the videos that you've seen, and I uh, want you to be able to load those onto your Juno so that you can play them as well. So that's the goal here. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to mention if you would like to know more about how you can join one of our music teams, one of our bands, to uh, share the gospel around the world using music, go to this website that you see right here, join.ctimusic.org, and that will have everything you need to know about how to get involved with us. So the first thing you need to do is, if you haven't already, you need to download Roland's uh, editor software. I just Googled it, so uh, Roland Juno DI editor software download. I went to this page, Roland's official support page, and there are a number of downloads here. Uh, the thing that you are looking for most particularly is this down at the bottom. It's called Juno DI Editor Librarian. This one's for Mac OS X. Uh, I'm actually on a Windows computer, so I downloaded this one up here. I assume it works the same on Mac. I can't be sure. Once you have it downloaded and installed, you'll want to connect your Juno uh, to your computer with a USB cable, and then you'll launch the program, uh, and I'll show you that here. Now, when you first... Uh, load it up. Actually, I'm going to quit it and launch it so that you can see what happens when you first load it. And I'm going to uh, pull up a different perform here. So, when you launch it, uh, the first thing it will do is it will read the state of your Juno. Uh, so, I have the Lamb of God perform loaded on my Juno right now, and the computer is loading all the settings from the Juno into it. Uh, so that the state of the Juno and the state of the computer reflect the same thing. So now it's done, um, and if I... Anyway, that's the Lamb of God perform on there. Um, you may, just to mention it, you may get an error when you first connect your Juno that says something about unable to find it or it's not connected. If you get that error, go here to Setup, Go to Setup MIDI Devices, and right here where this says Input and Output, and this says For Juno on mine, it might say Juno Unconnected. Just select the drop down, and you'll see a version that says Juno uh, that isn't unconnected. So just change it to the one that's not connected on both Input and Output, and then you should be able to clear the error, and then click Read, and it will again get the state of your keyboard, and you should be good to go. All right, I'm going to do some other videos that show you how to use Editor and show you what all this is. But for this video, I just want to show you how to load one of the programs that we've put on the website for you. So you're going to, once you've downloaded it from the YouTube channel, you're going to go open and you don't need to worry about saving the changes there. So this is actually all of the patches that we've made for the Juno. There's a lot of them. Uh, if you want any, let me know. Uh, but I'm going to find this is a whoops I didn't want to relabel that I wanted to find this is amazing grace um, and we'll pretend that I downloaded it from the website uh, uh, this is amazing grace we'll do the one in G so this is the file that I allegedly downloaded I open it and it says it's synchronizing data what it's doing is it's loading both into editor here and onto my Juno this perform that I loaded. And once it's done, you can see the title, This is Amazing Grace, up there. So looking at the display of my keyboard, I can see it says, This is Amazing Grace, and it has an asterisk there, meaning, hey, you haven't saved this. So at this point, I can do one of two things. I can either just save it uh, using the right button on the Juno, the same way I would save any custom edits that I do without the computer. But I can also do it here in Editor, and I want to show you that. Uh, so I'm going to click the right button in the top bar here uh, in, in Editor. And what that will do is it pulls up a window that shows all of the performs that are currently on my Juno by number. Uh, this Juno is full. It has uh, all, all the slots are full, so I'm going to have to overwrite something. So let's say that I want to write this over uh, 515 Kingdom. I'll click that. I'll click OK. And now, uh, This is Amazing Grace is saved at Perform Slot 515 on my Juno, and we're done. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, send me a private message, uh, and check out other videos that I hope to be posting about how to use Editor.